Shalom, brothers and sisters. So this news article, I'm, I'm still shaking my head because I've been thinking about this and trying to understand this all along. And I think I've got a, an answer to this. And I'll give it to you at the end of this. Russia calls for swift release of its nationals held by Hamas. So yes, they still have Russian prisoners as well. Russia's Human Rights Commissioner Tatyana Moskalkova on Tuesday announced that she appealed to senior United Nations, <laughs> as if the United Nitwits are going to do anything, and other officials to take action to secure the release of Russian nationals held by Hamas in the Gaza Strip after eight months after their kidnapping. <clears throat> Why? Is she asking the UN to get it sorted? Why not speak to Putin? According to her post on Telegram, Moskalkova launched the appeal after meeting in Moscow with relatives of those still being held. There are 116 hostages left in Gaza, including <clears throat> sorry, at least 40 whom Israeli authorities have declared dead in absentia. News reports have put at eight the number of hostages holding Russian passports, including three who were released. So my question is this, and this is where I'm, I'm like really trying to understand this one. Russia is besties with Iran, with the Islamic world, with Turkey, with all those nations. She has hosted since October 7, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, all those people, the Palestinian Authority in Moscow for meetings regarding Israel and regarding that whole situation. She is actively and openly supporting them. So why have they not given back the Russians? If Russia's backing you, why not give back Russia's people? And why is Russia not insisting on getting the people back? Because you're friends with them and you support what they're doing against Israel, then why haven't they given your people back? And then today it dawned on me. And now I understand. And I actually see Putin's point. He hasn't bothered to secure the release of the eight or so Russian hostages because they're Jewish. And why support the Jews? Ultimately, the Jews are leaving from Russia faster than any other country in the world back to Israel. So why fight for your release or secure your release you're just going to leave back to israel anyway and you're not my problem you're their problem and i'm not pro-israel as putin so bang he's in no rush to release the russian hostages because they are jewish so who cares if they were russian and not jewish like no jewish blood no jewish they were just by mistake in the area on their way to go see the pyramids and got caught up in the story because of the music festival i can guarantee you they would have been released that is my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.